Time to bring in Mike Cosi. We'll check sports. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. Well, uh, we're not even uh, to a spring training, and the Yankees aren't going to get Paxton back until uh, June. Three or four months, he's out. Back yeah. surgery, yep. Yeah. Uh, well, at least, they, at least they, <laughs> they picked up a good pitcher to, to, to anchor the rotation. That's all you can uh, say. I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. I'm not wishing nothing. I'm just I'm just mentioning as a matter of fact. Yeah. The uh the tonsillitis surgery that all pinchers get now, which is the Tommy John surgery. Yeah. Cole hasn't had that yet. All right. I don't think it's that. No, no. I'm not saying it's I'm just saying with all the innings and everything he does and uh, you know as hard as he throws, I'm just saying that that's going to be a possibility somewhere down the line. Because the everybody's had it. I mean, how many people do you know walking around with their tonsils? Not a lot. How many major league pitchers do you know of that hasn't had Tommy John surgery somewhere in their career? Not a lot. So I just hope this isn't a, a string of injuries for the Yankees that's going to mess their season up. And I'm, I'm not saying that with tongue in cheek. I'm, I'm I'm being serious about it. All right. Hey, did you realize that last year the New York Knicks? You know how many games they won last year? Uh, 13? No, 17. I was close. This year, already? 15. Wow, what progress. But here's the funny thing. Their their first coach they had, they only had four wins and 18 losses. Uh, this new guy that's cut, that, 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 that they've hired, mm-hmm. well, who came in, he's 11 and 16. Hey. What's that tell you? <laughs> tells you the first coach was a bad coach on a bad team, and the, the second no, coach... No, it tells you that the Knicks do have some talent, but they decided not to play for the coach that they had. Yeah, that's true. If you're playing with the same marbles, and you were 4 and, what'd you say, 16, and now you're 11 and 16? Yeah, something like that, yeah. Well, something's not right. I mean, either the coach was awful, or the players were dogs. And with the track record of the Knicks and the plethora of coaches they had and the bad records that they've had, um, what's the common denominator? The players, yeah. not the coaches. All right, well, that's that anyway. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, anything else in sports that you want yeah, to talk about? a couple about? things. Yeah. Um, college basketball, remember how I was saying it's, it's that kind of year? Yeah. Where even St. John's could maybe win a tournament. Yeah. I'm saying that with tongue in cheek. Yeah. Well, last night in the SEC, the number one team, the undefeated team, LSU, played the winless Van, um, Vanderbilt team. Vanderbilt beat LSU. Nice. The undefeated to the winless. They get beat. That's the kind of year it is this year. You can't figure out anything. There's Don't no man. rhyme or reason for what's going on in. Uh, in college basketball this year. And uh, going back to the Red Sox again, it's, yeah. it's pretty cool <clears throat> trying to read what these so-called experts are saying as to why Red Sox fans should not be angry that the Red Sox got rid of Mookie Betts. <laughs> Who said that? So they should Writers. One in particular name is June... June? J-O-O-N, Lee, who writes for ESPN, saying that they should not be angry about it. I mean, that's so ridiculous, I didn't even read the article. That's just So let me ask you a question as a Yankee fan. If because of monetary reasons the Yankees trade Aaron Judge next year, should the Yankee fans be happy about that? Well, let's put it this way. Uh, No, and let's put it this way. (laughs) The The Red Sox, for money, got rid of Babe Ruth. I know, but it's a different game than when I it was for Babe Ruth. I know, but I'm just saying. Now the, the Yankees, the, not the Yankees, the Red Sox are doing it to try to avoid the luxury tax. Well, those people that are paying exorbitant amount of money to sit in the first 10 or 15 rows at a baseball game, um, the owners don't seem too upset about a luxury tax that they're taking in all that cash, do they? No. Give the player, Give the fans what they want. That's it. I mean, you made a bad, a bad deal with Price, so you sacrifice Mookie Betts to get rid of Price? You should have never given Price the deal he had. 
It's that um, who signed him? Who was the GM that signed him? Which one was it? Oh goodness! I don't gracious. remember. Uh, I, for, I well, uh, who's uh, the one? But the, um, what's his name? The guy who's in uh, it was Epstein? Chicago. I'm pretty sure the guy who's in Chicago. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but if it was Epstein, uh, that's just another dagger he put into the Red Sox before he left. So I mean, Price Price's track record everywhere he goes is the same thing. He wins some games, and the big game he's invisible. Why would you give a guy like that big money? Now it's interesting to see what the Dodgers are going to do with him because. They have to absorb that. I'm pretty sure he's getting moved somewhere else. Where? I have no idea. Who, but, Price? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I bet you're right. I don't think there's any doubt about it. I don't know who's going to take him. I don't know what the deal is that the, the Dodgers are going to make with whoever it is. But I can't see him playing for the Dodgers for the entire season and for the Dodgers to be eating up that money because then they're going to be in the same position too because it, they got to pay bets. They have to pay a lot of other players on that team that make a decent amount of salary. And to get Price, who's not going to give you any performance for the money that you're going to give him, that's an albatross hanging on your neck. And looking ahead for the Yankees um, with the Stanton deal they have, the Yankees have a lot of young players that are going to have to get money, and they're going to go to arbitration But if the Yankees don't give them the big deal first. And they'd be, the Yankees would be dumb not to. But if Judge and Sanchez and other players that are young that are making a little bit of money right now compared to what others make go to arbitration, there's going to be a lot of trouble there, too. And sooner or later, you've got to pay the piper. Or not. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's, unfortunately, it's the way of the game. But, like I said for years, if baseball implemented a salary cap per position, Pitchers have to make so much. Outfielders can make so much. None of this would be going on. Players can stay with the teams that, that they came up with because they know they can only make this amount of money. But there is no salary cap. The players union will probably never allow it. But if there was a salary cap in baseball, not like football, but in baseball, teams can build and stay together. Yep. Because it's per position. You can only make... Twenty million per year if you're an outfielder. You could only make twenty-two million per per year if you're a pitcher. That's it. So no matter where you are, that's all you can make, and that that'll bring you know parity to the teams through the league, and then you play wherever you want to play. But players can stay in one place. Yep. All right. But what do I know? All right. We got any racing you can talk about tomorrow? Yeah, we'll find some. We got a three-year-old stake to Sam Davis down at Tampa, and I'm sure that they got some pretty decent racing uh, sandwiched around that, and we'll check and see what's at Gulfstream and Fairgrounds as well. All right, Mike, I'll check with you manana. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Mike Cosi with a check on sports this morning here on Robin Hood Radio.